Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 77. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was not streamed live on Twitch, but instead was recorded directly for YouTube. However, if you do want to see us record these videos live for YouTube, then feel free to check the description down below for the link. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here for the Class R1 Euro Tour. These are the fastest of the fastest cars. Um, I think some of these will end up getting like 200 miles an hour on some of these circuits. Uh, it is European cars around a European track, so... Um, we have a choice of these ones. I think I'm going to go for the Peugeot because I don't think we've actually driven a Peugeot in an R1 event in either like Motorsport 1 or Motorsport 2 in these kind of events. P1, that was the word. Um, but yeah, we'll drive the Peugeot starting off with Camino via de Montserrat, Extreme Circuit. Uh, Circuit de Catalunya, Le Mans, Mugello, and then Silverstone. All right, here we go. The R1 cars are ready. And we're off. Holy crap, I forgot these things were quick. I was easily hitting 180 miles an hour down that straight there. Could probably be looking at about 220 miles an hour for some of these corners. Oh, shit. That definitely was not a great corner. I'll be honest, though. This car's not suited for this circuit. I'm... This is more a test track, not for race cars. Especially in that start section. Like, maybe the test track in the Iberian International Circuit parts. So, this part all the way up till the start line again. Is okay. For race cars, because it's a race track. But that first section is not... Does not fit at all. Ooh. Lost it a little bit there. Not ideal. Do 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 I believe WRC Generations has actually finished installing on my PC now, which is good. I had to see how it runs on um, PC as well as on Steam Deck as well. 191 miles an hour. Holy crap. To be fair, it's actually kind of impressive that this thing has just done that entire track in about 220. And the downforce is like something out of this world. Oh, accidentally shifted into reverse, but didn't cause us any problems, which is good.
so bad. Five second gap. It's unreal. The speed that it goes through that chicane as well. Seventeen second lead so far. Looking good. I'm really hoping that um, WRC Generations actually fixes the problem that WRC 10 had. Um, because with controllers on WRC 9, if you're on a PS5 and you play the PS5 version, it has adaptive trigger support, it has haptic motor support, everything like that. Um, the only problem is, if you're on PC, it doesn't support that at all. WRC 10 is the same story. On PlayStation, however, on PC, it actually supports adaptive triggers, but it doesn't support haptic motors. We messed up that chicane a little bit. It's all good. Um, yeah, so it doesn't support haptic motors. So hopefully, Generations actually um, puts in support four haptic motors if they've worked out a way to do that. Not bad. Saving Ghost. Woohoo. Result. I will take my first level. So you now have a 20% discount on driveline upgrades by Peugeot. We got a 20% discount on front anti-roll bars and rear anti-roll bars by White Line. And they're available on cars by Citroen, Peugeot, Renault, Saab, and Volvo. Here we go. Remember. Ouch. Oh, I've just accidentally punched my desk. Ow. Highly don't recommend that. My mouse just flickered. The uh, light on it. It was very strange. Never seen that happen before. There we go, very nice.
messages, emails. Very nice. Coming out to a hairpin corner here. We got a two second uh, advantage on our last time and a four second advantage over second place. Absolutely revving the arse off the car there. Nice. Not bad. Final lap. This championship is going to go really quickly at this rate, to be honest. But these counts are just so quick. So fast. Not looking forward to the uh, championships towards the end of the series. Those are going to be extremely long. Gosh, look at the gap between vehicles. It's pretty impressive, actually. Jesus, I've done that twice now. I can't lose my position. Get back here. It's a mine. Thank you very much. Don't shift it to reverse. It'll be the end of you. All right. Not bad. No. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the results there. 14,000 credits. Uh, 11,000 XP. 
And we got oil and cooling upgrades by Setrab Europe. Whatever the hell that is. Right, here we go. Race number three. Le Mans circuit. The place where these cars actually belong. Oi! What was that for? Gosh, we've got uh, Audi going at Peugeot here. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, fair enough. That serves me right. Oh, look. We got our favourite little uh, Porsche over here. Uh, not Porsche. Ferrari. That Ferrari we've used... I believe we used it for the final event in the last game as well as Motorsport 1. I'm not 100% sure on that, though. We got our Bentley... The Audi there. Something else that I don't recognise. There's your Beamer. Zim Zima. Who got the keys to my motherfucking Beamer, bitch? Um. What is it? I actually have no clue. This car's a little bit twitchy on controller, I will be honest. Not a fan of it. One thirty seven, Jesus. These races are gonna be real short. Like, real, real short. Getting around that corner very nicely there. Thank you very much. I find it kind of impressive because I know these cars are diesels. They run off diesel fuel rather than, or I believe they run off diesel rather than petrol. Because all of them, like, their rev limits are ridiculous. I think one of the R8s um, that was used a couple of years ago, I think its rev limit was like 4,000 revs. Which is lower than what you see on like a VW Golf. I think the Golfs are like four and a half, five thousand rev limit. Pretty impressive, actually. Not bad. Oh, come on. Stop it. Right, 
Right, we got. Two more laps. Terrible corner there. I've just looked outside my window. <laughs> the sun is like directly shining through. It's not ideal. <laughs> not ideal at all. Not bad. go third race done we got two more to go 15 grand I'll take that result uh, we got a 10% discount on thousand displacement upgrades by Peugeot well I forgot to start recording <laughs> uh, I think I'll, I only got half of that uh, animation then oh well this is going to be quite fun actually driving this around Magello. What is honestly my favourite track in the world. Nice. Coming up to the final corner here. We're looking at 1 minute 40 for a lap time. Gosh, this thing is quick. I would so love to go to Miguelo one day. I think it'd be an awesome place to go.
Jesus. This is one of those weird cars that as you get faster and faster, it really can grip around those corners. I missed my breaking point. Mm, just about got away with that. Right, let's see if we can get better than 131. I love how this car can hit its maximum speed in fifth gear, and the sixth gear is solely used just for. Oh, something went a bit stuttery there. Cannot tell whether that was my computer or. The console. Could be one or the other. Um, but yeah, the sixth gear is literally just used for economy. Like cruising down the main straight at Le Mans. You hit your top speed, shift up into sixth. And it uses a little less fuel. That's literally the only reason that gear exists. bad. Ooh. Nah, bend it. Shit. Alright. Cool to go. Is Peugeot still in uh, endurance racing? I don't think they are. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't heard from them. Actually, no. I lied. They are still in it. Ferrari's announced a um, car for endurance racing, though. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even know what to say about that. Because let's be honest, we've seen how bad Ferrari can be with Formula 1. When it comes to, like, an endurance championship, they're just going to be even worse. So... Let's see what they can do.
Not bad. Right, coming up to the start finish line. And across the line. Result. We got a first place finish there. 14,000 XP. Nice. I will take that. I've lost my microphone. Do you know, I really need to stop watching like TikToks and shit like that. It's <laughs> really addictive. Bloody hell. It's one of the worst apps that's ever been made. Like, I can sit there for hours just watching TikToks. It's unreal. Beep beep, get out the way. Oh, come on. I was barely cutting the corner. I had one wheel on the curb. Okay, this car's having a tough time getting around this course. Nice. I need to get um, a bit better knowledge with uh, the corner names of this track. That did not go to plan. Shit. <laughs> Alright, we've got time to catch up now. There's the Bentley. Who's quite unpredictable at the moment. A lot of the AI is quite unpredictable in this game, so keep an eye on that. Oh, made contact with the Audi again. Vroom vroom. Oh, come on. What on earth are you doing? Just making a solid brick wall that I'm not actually allowed to cross. Now Ferrari's on my ass again. How is the Ferrari slower than the Bentley in this game? Because the Ferrari was quicker. A lot quicker than the Bentley in like Motorsport 1. And Motorsport 2. Seems strange that that car has just all of a sudden become slower. This is probably going to be the longest race in this entire championship, to be honest, so...
you know, we've worked our way all the way up into like faster and faster cars. We're now in the fastest cars in the game. We're going to have one more championship with the fastest cars. And then we're going to go straight back into the slowest cars again. To do it all over again. Into the fastest cars. And then again. And then again and again and again. It's just constantly going from like the slowest to the fastest. But I mean, to be fair, the jump from like going from slow to fast is quite gradual in this game. It's nothing ridiculous. It's the other way around though. Because it ends up going from the fastest to literally the slowest cars instantly. Like the next uh, championship, I think, is North America R1 cars. And then immediately after that is um, actually I think it starts with some um, like invitational kind of things. One make races. But we end up going to that. And then like the F class world tour. So pretty shocking actually. I wish there was a horn button for this game, so you could just like beep beep coming through. It's getting close to two o'clock and it is dark in this room. Alright, not bad. Right, coming up to the last corner. Sorry, second to last. That little kink on the straight is still classed as a corner. Here we go, result. Saving Ghost, please do not turn off your console. I won't. We were 1,000 XP away from uh, getting level 5 then. Impressive. Right, that's the R1 Euro Tour done. Just got the American Tour to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.